Hi everyone, I am Dr. G. Srinivas, Associate Professor, Department of Mathematics, Minister of Aeronautical Engineering, Dindigal, Hyderabad. Today, I would like to tell the concepts of ordinary differential equations. So, what is the differential equations? What is the use of the differential equations? Let me explain before going into the topic. The ordinary differential equations or differential equations are worked as a mathematical models for many problems in physics, chemistry, engineering and many branches in sciences. Where there is a change, there you can find a differential coefficient. So there you can apply the mathematical model as a differential equation. So what is the use of mathematics generally? In general, mathematics can be used as a mathematical model for many problems in engineering. Suppose if you have any problem in real situation, you convert into a mathematical real world model first and then you convert into a mathematical model. So in this differential equations can be used as a mathematical model. So after getting mathematical model, you solve or you find the solution of the mathematical model by using the concepts of the solutions of the differential equations and after getting solution you convert into a the problem into a real time situation. So it is having various applications in engineering and sciences. So before going into the topic in detail, so First, I would tell the basic terminology in the differential equation. So, what is the differential equation? Differential equation. So, before going that, I will give you one small example. Suppose, if a body, if an object is dropped from the height at time t0 and h of t is the height of the object at time t and a is the acceleration and v is the velocity, then we know that the v is equal to the rate of change with respect to time in the displacement that is dh by dt and acceleration is d square h by dt square or you can write it as d by dt of v. So the falling object for the falling object the physical property is the acceleration is directly proportional to the gravitational force. So using that property the mathematical relation you obtain is d square h by dt square is proportional to g or I can write d square h by dt square is equal to some proportionality constant k into g. So where g is the minus 9.8 meters per second and this equation you can observe that it is a second order differential equation. What we have done here is the physical property or the physical nature of the object is converted into a mathematical model called the differential equation and clearly it represents a second order differential equation. So if you solve this equation, you will get the solution as h as a function of t, h as a function of t, h means displacement. If you know the displacement, then you can find the velocity by finding df by dt. Then you can find the acceleration by finding d square f by dt square. So if you know the change in the displacement that is velocity, you can find the acceleration also and you can find at any time the object oh, velocity, the object to acceleration you can find using these equations. So this is a mathematical model for the physical problem. So before going to complete solutions, so what is the differential equation? So an equation involving differential coefficients is called a differential equation. So if you if an equation an equation if the derivatives occur then it is called the differential equation very simple definition or a differential equation is an equation which contains one or more terms and the derivatives of one variable with respect to the other variable then it is called a differential equation. So here I am giving the examples d, d y by dx is equal to 5x. 
So it is a first order differential equation and first degree also. And d square y by dx square plus 2 into dy by dx plus y is equal to sin x plus 2x minus cos 3x. This is also an example for the differential equation and which is the second order and first degree differential equation. So the differential equations are two types. The differential equations can be classified into two types. One is ordinary differential equation. We call it as ODE and the second one is partial differential equation. So what is ordinary differential equation? Suppose in the differential equation, if the derivatives have reference to single independent variable, then the equations are said to be ordinary differential equations. So in the first example, you can observe that the derivatives have reference to single independent variable that is dy by dx, d square y by dx square. So all the derivatives in the given equation have reference to single variable x. So we call it as the ordinary differential equation. Similarly, you can observe that in second example, the differential equation d square y by dx square plus 4 dy by dx plus y is equal to sin x plus 3 plus cos hx. In this differential equation also, the derivatives have reference to single independent variable x. So we can call this also a ordinary differential equation. Then what is partial differential equation? If in the given differential equation, the derivatives have reference to two or more independent variables, then the equations are said to be partial differential equations. So if the derivatives have reference to single independent variable, then it is called ordinary differential equation. If in the given equation, the derivatives have reference to two or more independent variables, then it is called partial differential equation. So see the examples. Here dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square is equal to 0. So here u is the function of x and y. The derivatives with respect to x and y exist in the given equation. So dou u by dou x, that means dou square by dou x square also exists and dou square u by dou y square also exists. So the derivatives have reference to two variables x and y. So this differential equation is called partial differential equation. So the first and second same u double x that is the notation u x x means it is dou square u by dou x square u y y means dou square u by dou y square. This is the notation which we follow in the partial differential equation u x y that is dou square u by dou x dou y. Suppose if you write u y x then it is dou square u by dou y dou x. So the second equation and first both are same. The notation will be different. And here also in the third equation, u x dou square u by dou x square, u square plus u square x y dou square u by dou x dou y plus u y into dou square u by dou y square plus dou u by dou x whole square plus dou u by dou y whole square plus u square is equal to 0. In this also, the derivatives have reference to two variables x and y. So this also we call it as ordinary partial differential equation. So the fourth also you can observe that it is a partial differential equation. So briefly, in the, if the derivatives have reference to single variable, it is called ordinary differential equation. If the derivatives have reference to two or more variables, then it is called partial differential equation. Right? This is the classification of the differential equations. Next, what is the order of the differential equation? Order and degree. Order and degree of the differential equation. The order of the differential equation is the order of the highest derivative occurring in the given differential equation. Suppose if you have the differential equation d square y by dx square plus 2 into dy by dx plus 3 into y is equal to x. So it is a differential equation because the derivatives are involving in the equation. So it is called a differential equation and the derivatives have reference to single variable. It is called ordinary differential equation. 
So, how to say that order of the differential equation? So, what is the maximum derivative occurring in the equation is d square y by dx square. That means, the second order derivative is occurring in the, as the highest derivative in the given equation. So, what is the order of the differential equation? It is 2. And what is the degree of the differential equation? The degree of the differential equation is the degree of the highest power of the derivative occurring in the given differential equation. So, here the highest derivative occurring in the equation is d square y by dx square and the power of this is 1. So, this is the first degree differential equation. Clear? This is second order and first degree differential equation. The power of the highest derivative that is called the degree of the differential equation. Here the degree is equal to 1 and order is equal to 2. So, these are the <coughs> order and degree of the given differential equation. So, I will show some examples on order and degree. So, for example, you see the first equation cos x into d square y by dx square plus sin x into dy by dx whole square plus 8y is equal to sin x. Here, the maximum derivative occurring in the equation is d square y by dx square. So, order is equal to 2. What is the power of highest order derivative? 1. This is power is 1. So, that is the or degree is 1. So, order 2 and degree 1. So, this is the first, second order, first degree differential equation. So, in that way you can classify. So, you see the second example, the highest derivative occurring in the equation is d cube y by dx cube. The other derivative also there, but it is dy by dx, first order, but it is the third order, d cube y by dx cube. So, it is called the third order differential equation. The power is 4, so the degree also 4. Here order is 3 and degree is 4. In the third example, you can observe that the differential equation order is equal to 2 and the degree is equal to 3. So, in that way, you can say order and degree of the differential equation. In our syllabus, we have the following topics. The first one is solutions of first order and first degree differential equations and its applications. So, how to find the solutions of the first order and first degree differential equations. And the second concept is solutions of second and higher order differential equation with constant coefficients and its applications. So, applications also there in first and second concepts. So, in the first topic we go, we are going to see that the first order and first degree differential equations and its applications. In second topic, in second concept, we are going to see the solutions of second and higher order. So, for first order and first degree, we have one procedure. And for second and higher order, third order, third, fourth order, fifth order, whatever may be the equation, the procedure will be, comes under the second model. So, what is the first order and first degree differential equation? So, what is the standard form? What is the general form of the first order and first degree differential equation? First order means the highest derivative occurring in the equation is dy by dx only because it is the first order derivative. The power is also 1. So, dy by dx is equal to f of xy is the general form of the first order and first degree differential equation. dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y is the first order and first degree differential equation because the derivative is first order derivative. The power also 1. So, what we call it as order is 1 and degree also 1. This is the first order and first degree differential equation. So, we can say that the definition is a differential equation is of the form dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y is called the first order and first degree differential equation. So, to solve the first order and first degree differential equations, we have several methods. So, we have four methods. So, in the given as follows. The first one is variable separable method and second one is homogeneous differential equations and non-homogeneous differential equations. So, if the given equation uh, is homogeneous form, how to solve the equation? That is explaining in the second model. 
and if the given equation is non homogeneous equation how to find the solution of the given differential equation that we'll see in the second model and third model is exact equation so what is the exact equation and how to find the solution of the exact differential equation that is the third model and also suppose if the given equation is not in exact form then how to reduce the equation to exact form and by using integrating factor that we'll see in the third model and in the fourth model if the equation is in the form of linear differential equations model how to solve it that is the fourth the number fourth model and the last one is bernoulli equation so these i will explain one by one later so what is the variable separable method so when the equation can be used uh, variable separable method to solve the, to get the solution of the given equation so variable separable form suppose if the given equation the given equation is dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y is called we know that first order and first degree equation suppose if it is represented in the form dy by dx is equal to f of x by g of y or g of x by f of y whatever may be the form suppose if it is possible to write the given equation in the form dy by dx is equal to f of x by by g of y then it is said to be in variable separable form because we can separate the variables here we can write f of x on dx side and g of y on dy side so we call it as the variable separable form so how to so in this case we write the given equation on cross multiplying f of x dx is equal to g of y dy so on integrating both sides how you'll get on integrating both sides you'll get what you'll get integral f of x dx is equal to integral g of y dy plus c. so on integrating this function we'll get the left hand side term right hand side term plus c will be the required solution of the given equation so if the equation is possible to separate the variables then we can apply variable separable form so i'll show this with one example so if the equation is in the form dy by dx is equal to x by y so is it possible to separate the variables or not so the given equation is dy by dx is equal to x by y dy by dx is equal to x by y so on separating the variables that means you can write x on dx side and y on dy side so on making cross multiplication x dy x is equal to y dy so on taking integration both sides what you will get x integration x square by 2 and y dy y square by 2 we are integrating with respect to y plus c is the integrating constant which is the required solution very simple method so if the possibility is there to separate the variables then the problem comes under variable separable form and on separating and on integrating we will get the solution so we will see some examples we will solve some examples so here the first problem x plus 1 into dy by dx is equal to x into y square plus 1 so how to solve this equation how to solve this equation so we can solve this equation by separating the variables suppose if the equation is see the first problem i'll do this x plus 1 dy by dx is equal to x into y square plus 1 so can i separate is it possible to separate the variables or not so i can i can separate the variables as dy by y square plus 1 y square plus 1 is on the right side on converting into left side you will get dy by y square plus 1 y variables are dy side so dx right this side x dx by x plus 1 so is it possible to separate or not x by x plus 1 so now what to do so we have to make integration so integral dy by 1 plus y square on the left side on the right hand side so i can write this as on adding and subtracting 1 you will get x plus 1 minus 1 by x plus 1 of dx plus c where c is the integrating constant so then what you can write it is integral 1 by 1 plus y square i can write it as tan inverse y we know the formulas of integration tan inverse tan inverse y am i right or not so here i can separate 
x plus 1 by x plus 1, that is first term 1 dx. Then the second term integral 1 by 1 plus x of dx plus the constant. So what you will get, you will see. So left side already, already we have integrated. The function is tan inverse y is equal to integral 1 dx, x plus 1 by x plus 1. That you will get 1 dx, that is x minus integral 1 by 1 plus x dx. What is the integration? Log 1 plus x. Integral 1 by x means log x. Integral 1 by 1 plus x means log 1 plus x plus c. And this is the required solution of the given differential equation. So, which is solved by using variable separable form. That means by separating the variables in the given equation dy side y variables and x variables on dx side and on integrating we will get the required solution. Similarly, you can use the, you can do other problems also. So, I will show how to separate, I will show the separate, how to separate. Suppose if you see the, say the fourth problem, x dy by dx y minus, am I right, is equal to a into y square plus dy by dx. So, how you can separate? So, y minus a is equal to, sorry, sorry, right, not, y minus a y square, am I right, a y square is on the right hand side and writing in the left hand side it will get minus sign minus a y square and here it is a into dy by dx already in the right side and on writing this on right side we will get x into dy by dx. So, then what you will get? y minus ay square on the left side and right side on, on taking common a dy by dx you will get a plus x into dy by dx. So, now how you can separate? dx by a plus x, dx by x plus a. Can I write that? dx by x plus a is equal to dy by y into 1 minus a y. So, clearly this is in variable separable form, dx side x variables, dy side y variables. So, on integrating both sides, you will get the required solution. So, this is log x plus a and this can be done by using the partial fractions a by y plus a, I can write 1 by y into 1 minus a y as a by y plus b by 1 minus a y and find a and b values and we will uh, replace a and b and then integrating we will get the uh, required solution. Similarly, do the 2 and uh, 3 problems also. So, in the next class, I will explain those 2 problems also. So, thank you very much. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.